All hell of bid, it's your boy Big Bid B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. In today's video, we're discussing a product that was highly requested on the channel, but I never got around to doing it. Now, I picked this bad boy back up in March, and when I first got it, man, honestly, I never really gave it a try. I put it on the back burner and said I'd get to it later. Now, fast forward about five months or so, I've been testing this one over and over again behind the scenes. And now I can speak on this with confidence. Now, if you aren't one of the people who requested this review, or if you're new to the world of fragrances, let me explain what this is. We have canvas and concrete fragrance primer. Obviously, it comes in this box. Take that. Take that. Not so tough now, are you? See if you can keep that together. Now, Canvas and Concrete is a fragrance primer and it's made to work with your favorite fragrances. And in fact, it's really made to do three things. One, to improve your fragrance's longevity. Keep your fragrance composition true to form and reduce your money by saving the amount of sprays that you need to spray when you're stepping out of the house. So let's break it down. In theory, having a natural barrier between your fragrance of choice and your skin reduces the absorption rate into your body. Therefore, allowing the scent to stay on the surface longer. If it stays on the surface longer, it performs longer, you get better longevity, you might get more compliments. Theory number two, by applying a fragrance primer like canvas and concrete, before applying your actual fragrance, you will stop your body's pH from mixing with the fragrance, giving you a truer understanding of the fragrance and what the fragrance perfumer was trying to you know, create for you. In theory number three, by applying a fragrance primer to your skin and then your fragrance, you will now have a fragrance that sits on top of the skin longer, therefore not requiring to spray as much. And in simple terms, you saving money. And now that I've really had the opportunity to try this fragrance primer with a ton of different fragrances over the months and weeks that I've been doing this in the background, I can give you my true thoughts and opinions. Now, here's the thing or two to note. When I sprayed this on my skin, I did notice a slight change in the way my skin felt, like the texture was different. Let me see if I can show you guys. Probably won't be able to see that. After spraying it on my skin, it begins to look a bit more glossy and it actually feels like my skin is a bit more tacked as well. So does it work if you just want to know that short answer? Yes. But don't expect this to be like some type of fragrance miracle worker. Now, on my personal experience with canvas and concrete, this doesn't take a lackluster fragrance and make it beast mode. However, I did notice slight increases across the board. Slight increases, but increases nonetheless. Generally speaking, I would say in terms of performance, the max that I've gotten in terms of longevity increases are about two hours or so. Listen, if I'm wearing a Joe Malone, this is going on immediately, right? I'm spraying the Joe Malone on on top of that, and it's going to help with my performance. Now, I know what some of you guys and girls out there are thinking, Big B, B the fragrance primer, does it have a scent? Does it have an odor? Well, yes, it does, but slightly. And I know what the next question is, is, hey, does that interfere with the fragrance? In my opinion, it doesn't. When you first spray this, it does have like this glue-like smell to it, but it goes down quickly. It subsides quickly, and I don't really think that it's going to interfere with the fragrance. Let me show you. Like, I can't smell it anymore. Like, that quick, it's gone. Now, and that quick it's gone, but I can feel, especially here because this is where I sprayed it, I can feel that it's like more tacky. It's very, not very sticky, but it's more sticky than it was. It wasn't sticky at all. <laughs> now it's sticky. <laughs> I said it's more sticky than what it was. That's funny. It wasn't sticky at all, but it's now sticky. And if I spray something there, it's going to help it last a bit longer. I don't believe it had like how many sprays you should spray on yourself. But what I tend to do is because I spray generally here and here, like what I would do is I just spray just like I just did, right? I just spray all over my arm. Right? I spray all over my arm and then I spray my fragrance. I apply it and that way I don't have to worry about like, hey, if I'm missing it, am I wasting juice? My whole arm is now tacky and the fragrance will last a bit longer. Overall, 
I say this works. Um, does it make the friggin' beast mode? No, but it does work and it's worth the, I don't know, it's 20, 25 bucks that you spend on this. I say that it's worth it. If you're going to now save money on applying other fragrances multiple times, go ahead and do it, man. Um, overall, I like canvas and concrete. It's working for me. I will continue to use it. Remember, I paid for that. It wasn't sent to me. As always, I'm your boy. Big Bear B, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. Have you guys had any experience with this? You know what, before you leave, you should spray this on the bell and stay with me forever. Hit the goddamn bell!